What's up, y'all? EWD33 here. Uh, it's been a long goddamn time since I made a video. Um, I, uh, well, I got done with school and then fucking uh, had to work and do a bunch of fucking work because I just went on a trip from the 21st and just got back today. So that's where I haven't been. And um, I was actually went to Philadelphia and New York, which was pretty cool, man. Um, uh, Monday night, I, um, was at a comedy club for the first half of the game, but I was looking at updates on my phone, and then, um, I was able to tune in for the, uh, for the, um, following massacre that had ensued that second quarter, um, I don't know, man. Uh, I want to say congratulations to all you Saints fans out there. You fucking swept us. God damn it. Still hate your team with the passion. Fucking with the goddamn passion. I fucking oh, can't stand the Saints. Uh, congratulations to all you guys that post videos about the Saints, though, man. I mean, shit. Y'all play better, a lot better than us. Um, you know, uh, I'm not making this video, you know the day after or, you know, the hour after the game, so I kind of calmed down, but I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, Atlanta, really, really, you're not only, well, you could, well, n I mean, I guess in a way it was the division title, um, New Orleans still had to lose to Carolina, but still, I mean, what the fuck was that, what was that, this was fucking pathetic, goddamn performance I've ever seen, especially against your biggest rivals. What do you do? You go out there and you play like a fucking peewee league football team. I mean, good fucking God. What in, what were you doing? You all fucking all, you know what? The only one constant during that game was the fact that Matt Ryan was actually, if you look at his stats, he did fantastic against the fucking, I mean, obviously he couldn't get it into the end zone, which is what matters, but I mean, he was what, 60 completion percentage, 370 yards and a touchdown, no picks for anything, and not to mention, when I watched the last two quarters, I saw fucking Roddy White dropping balls, I saw Julio Jones dropping balls, and when he wasn't dropping balls, he was getting stripped for fucking, and then New Orleans taking him back to the fucking house, what in the fuck was that? And then our defense, our big bad fucking Kelvin Hayden and Brent Grimes are back. Wow. So glad they made such a fucking difference because, I mean, what? We let them have 45 points with Drew Brees fucking shit on us. And you know what the funny thing is? is thank God for Drew Brees breaking the single season record because they have been talking about that on ESPN all the time. And as fans of the as fans of the Atlanta Falcons, it's good for us, but deep down inside, we know we got our asses kicked, and it was fucking embarrassing and pathetic. It was fucking embarrassing and pathetic. And they won't tell you that on ESPN, because all they're doing is talking about Drew Brees, but I'm going to tell you that, and we got our asses kicked, and that was fucking awful. That was awful. I mean, you know, I, I honestly... I could maybe expect it against Green Bay Packers earlier this season, but you're fucking playing your division rival, one of the most heated rivalries in football, and you get your asses fucking kicked like that? Really? Really? I mean, did we even fucking, I don't, I don't even know, because I didn't watch, I think we maybe, stopped, what, stopped them once? One, two drives maybe? All the other drives, it looked like the fucking playoff game last year. Is this what we're, is this what we're going to do in the fucking postseason? Is that what we're going to do in the postseason? Because guess what? If, um, I know we're going to beat Tampa Bay, all right? I know we're going to beat Tampa Bay. And I'm a little angry, obviously. I mean, don't fucking comment on my video and be like, oh, you're a Falcons hater. Obviously, I'm not a Falcons hater, goddammit. I'm just a little pissed off at my team for that fucking peewee league effort they put up on fucking Monday. But I know we're going to beat Tampa Bay, knock on wood, you know.
is that if Detroit beats Green Bay, which actually Green Bay has been looking kind of beatable lately. I mean, other than the loss to Kansas City, but in that Chicago game, other than the, like the fucking a few things, I mean, pretty much the whole fucking first half, the game was within, like, you know, what? Chicago being so injured was able to not make them look stellar. I mean, they kept getting them to go three and out, like, constantly. And, um, they're just, they don't have that momentum they had at the beginning of the season or at the end of last year, so they're definitely beatable. But if the Detroit Lions beat Green Bay on Sunday, guess what? We're going back to New Orleans, fellers. And if anything, if if that happens, this scenario plays out, and we do what we did on fucking Monday, you can kiss our fucking season goodbye. You can kiss it goodbye, because it's not fucking going to happen. Now, hopefully, Detroit loses to Green Bay, and we have to play either New York or Dallas, which are easily beatable teams, and then San Francisco, which has a good defense, but they haven't really played many people. Even though they did play the Packers, I mean the the Pittsburgh Steelers, but Ben Roethlisberger was hurt. I, th- I think if it was a healthy Ben Roethlisberger, it was a whole different situation. Um, I really honestly think San Francisco's beatable, especially if we bring our A game, and then we're either going to probably meet New Orleans or Tam- I mean Green Bay in that playoff game. But hopefully, if we get to the NFC Championship, we'll have enough momentum and confidence that we'll play those teams tough. Like we did game one when we should have won, but Roddy White. Oh, wow, Roddy White. Hey, dropping more passes. What did you do the first New Orleans game? Dropped a pass with 15 seconds left in the end zone. What did you do all this game? Dropped fucking passes. When everyone thought you were good and fine and fucking doing well, you have a performance like this. I mean, God damn it, Roddy White. I mean, like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Jesus. I mean, no one could do a fucking thing. No one could, except for Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan was the only one that did anything. But that wasn't enough. Because when the other team scores 45 points on you, I mean, regardless, we only scored 16 because we couldn't get the ball in the fucking end zone. I know that was the only fault in Matt Ryan's game. Other than that, he was pretty fucking spot on. But if your team fucking lets up 45 points, you're not going to win a football game. If your defense lets up 45 points, you will not win a football game. Actually, they didn't let four, up 45 points. Because they had some, uh, New Orleans had some fucking defensive touchdown. But God damn it. I mean, I was, honestly, I, obviously I'm still kind of sick. But I, I mean, I was, I was in New York, dude. And I had to go, we went to a Broadway show. My dad took us to a Broadway show in New York on Tuesday. And and we went out, like, sightseeing around New York. And all I could fucking think about was how goddamn terrible that game was. I mean, I was sick to my stomach watching that. And then the morning after, it's like a fucking bad hangover. And the thing that makes it so bad is that we got this shit kicked out of us. We didn't lose by a... You know, a fucking field goal or a touchdown. We got the shit kicked out of us. It was fucking embarrassing. It better not happen again. Anyways. Enough about that. Um, So we got Tampa Bay. Which we we'll probably kick the shit out of. Hopefully. If we play like we did against New Orleans, we're not going to beat anyone. Well, we should beat them, actually. Hold on. Let me see. <sighs> Oh, uh, yeah. I'm excited for it because I got these bad boys right here. I got three tickets. I'm taking my... Me and my two brothers are going to the game. Which is going to be fucking sweet because I don't have to work on Monday. You know, I'm getting fucking trash. Getting rowdy. Isn't that right, kitty? Isn't that right, kitty? <laughs> Fuck you, cat. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, um... By the way, that's not my cat. That's my brother's cat. I don't fucking like cats. Um... God damn, man. That was just... 
It's embarrassing. Yeah, we got Tampa Bay, who has been, you know, fucking, other than beating us and the Saints, you know, the first couple weeks, they have not done shit, and they've just looked absolutely awful. I mean, they got beat by Jacksonville, 41-14. to And then we turn around and beat fucking Jacksonville, 41-14. to Now, if that works out, we should beat them like 85 to nothing. <laughs> Yeah, anyways. The thing is, you know, I mean, fuck. Also, I want to take my hat off to Drew Brees. Congratulations for beating out Dan Marino in the single season passing yards. So glad that's a fucking quarterback in our division. Hopefully he doesn't fucking sign with y'all next year. And then what do you got? You don't got goddamn bullshit because Drew Brees your old fucking team. Anyways. Well, RG3 just got a touchdown. Anyways. Yeah, you guys New Orleans fans can hate because guess what? Your whole team is fucking Drew Brees. I'm sorry to say your whole goddamn team is Drew Brees. Yeah, you got talented receivers. Everyone's got talented receivers. You got a fucking all right you know, defense. Everyone's got an all right defense. But not everyone has a fucking Drew Brees. And if you take Drew Brees out of the equation, you ain't got fucking but a mediocre goddamn football team. So if he doesn't sign back with y'all at the end of the year, I mean, most likely he will. Good luck fucking winning games that next season. But yeah, anyways, Tampa Bay. We're going to keep the shit out of them. There's no need to say anything else. I mean, what are they, foreign... Four and ten or whatever. <coughs> Four and twelve. Carolina's actually better than that. that's funny. Um fuck. Anyways. I'll make more about fucking Tampa Bay after the game. I'll probably be too drunk to post anything on Sunday after the game. Um we'll see though. Leave your comments and your likes and dislikes, you know. I don't really care what you do. I know I'm going to have, if any of you New Orleans fans still watch my videos, I haven't done them in a while, I know I'm going to have some comments from y'all. Anyways, this is EWD33, peace.